a structured controversy. We need to create room to advocate for their views based on reason and common sense, allowing healthy disagreements. Um, how many of you have in your groups these tensions that build up sometimes? So two of you? Okay, the others don't have that. Good, oh, three, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, most groups will somehow offer an opportunity for a kind of a hot debate. I would guess it's more in return, in return than it is in recognized. Okay, 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 good point. We need to allow that. We need to allow that, but we need to allow that in a way that is safe and is constructive. So when somebody wants to make a point and that point somehow goes in disagreement with somebody else's point, it could be your point as the leader, we need to somehow be able to contain it, somehow give some validity to it, right? And then be able to have a discussion about it. Now, the validity to it, because I think that's one of what is sort of an ethical issue for some people to say, how, how am I gonna say that that's correct when I know it's wrong, let's say. Well, hold on, you know, and, and, and we own that to perspectivism. That is true to that person, right? That person is arguing in favor of that particular issue in that way, because to him or to her, it makes sense. So I can validate that fact that that makes sense to him or her. So I'm not lying. It's not an ethical issue. That doesn't mean that I agree. I can be in disagreement and I still say, well, I can see how you see it that way. And I can see how that's important to you and I wanna respect that. I don't wanna just get it and throw it to the garbage can and say that that's nonsense. I cannot do that. Well, I can do that, of course, but I should not do that because I respect the person more than the idea. And because I respect that person, I wanna create a room for that person to be able to express him or herself freely. Because when, when that person has the freedom to express those ideas, then I know what that person's mind is. And I can help influence, remember? I can come to influence them. But if that person feels scared of sharing those ideas because I'm shutting them down all the time, then I will never know where that person is. And somehow my level of influence is closing. And I will be forcing myself, but still it's not gonna happen. And that person will be very disconnected and distant in the group. So I, I need to find that balance in the group where I can allow some ideas. And I remember, I'm the leader, so I'm in charge. I'm still saying how much is gonna be shared and how it's gonna be shared. And I'm validating in the context of that's what you believe. Right, and I can hear that and I can respect that, but what would it take for you to take a look at this? So sometimes I may say very simple things, like for instance, I would say, I just want to ask you a favor. For a few seconds, can I get your permission that I, to express certain things? I want you to take a look at this, just entertain it. You don't have to believe it, you don't have to agree. I just want you to touch it, to entertain it, to consider this, and then after that time, just throw it away if it's not good for you. But could you give me just a moment? The whole idea of doing this is basically what I'm saying. I want you to shut down your mind for a moment in the sense that trying to pursue your idea, slow down, create some room for me. I want you to take a look at this, to expose yourself to this, and we will see what happens. You don't have to believe it. I'm not saying you have to buy it, no. That will be up to you, and I will respect your decision. But could you give me that time? I'm, I'm asking that person, inviting that person to consider my point. Most of the time, most people say yes. Yes, I can do that. Most people say that. And some people, there is a percentage of people that actually, because finally they slowed down and were able to take a look at my point, they will, they will see my point and will start to validate my point as they consider it. Because if it, if, it, if it is just a thing of force, I'm forcing myself, they will force back. There is a concept in groups and systems, that is, it's, a, it's a word that you probably know very well, that is homeostasis. And homeostasis is the idea that every group, every system will always fight to keep things stable, even if they are not healthy. We're used to do things this way, and does it really matter? If there is a better way, we're gonna to continue to do it. 
So it's the idea of the thermostat in, in an air conditioned system. You know, you set the temperature to 68, and that thing is going to kick in every time that that temperature is going up to keep it at 68. It will turn off when it is at 68 or lower, right? It's, it, so groups do the same. People do the same. If I'm trying to force myself, you know, you're going to try to keep the stability. So you're going to force and try to equal my force into this. So there's no room there for really viewing my point. But if I get you to drop that simply by inviting you for a moment to consider my point, most people will be able to be willing to do that. So homeostasis may change.